Toger in England writes, Paul, I live in Richmond, North Yorkshire. Like the pudding. The mother of all Richmonds, founded by William the Conqueror, originally Richemont, Fortified Hill. The town grew up around the castle. And my question is this. It sounds like you live in a cool place, man. You state, uh-oh, I always don't like it when people said, you said, you stated a while back that it's impossible to convert DSD to PCM. Well, I'm the new proud owner of a Marantz SA12 SE SA CD player, and Marantz claims it's converting PCM CDs using their MMM system to DSD. Certainly causes the CD to sound similar to SA CD beating my old RCAM 23 CD player with the DCS ring deck. I'd be interested in your reply. Well, if I said or implied that you cannot convert DSD to PCM, I stand corrected. That is not true. We do it all day long. So, <sighs> hmm. DSD in its pure form is a one-bit system running at 24 times, uh, uh, I don't remember what all the numbers are, faster than a PCM system, which is based on groups of what we call words, right? So each word in a pulse code modulated system, PCM, which is the standard digital system that we find in CDs and most everything that we listen to when we think of digital, is a, uh, is, are these groups of words, and these words are 32-bit, 24-bit, 16-bit, 18-bit, 20-bit, whatever they are, those bits describe an amplitude, a loudness level for a little portion of the, the, the sound, of the music. In DSD, we do it a lot quicker, and it's just basically a one-bit system that is just saying this is higher, or lower volume than the last one we just had. And that's really kind of simple. So when we record at Octave Records, we record everything in DSD-256. What's that mean? DSD-256 means it is running at a speed that is 256 times faster than a CD quality, right? So CDs run at 44.1 kilohertz, 44,000 Anyway, forget the point one. So every 44 thousandths of a second, a PCM CD system takes a snapshot of the music and converts that amplitude, that volume, into a number that a computer can memorize. And it does it every 44 thousandths of a second. Boom, 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 these little snapshots. DSD-256 only uses one bit to tell whether the bit that we just had is higher or lower than the last one, right? Or no change. So that's running at 256 times faster than 44.1, which turns out to be about 11 megahertz or 11 million times a second. We take a look at that. And when we get done with that recording at Octave Records, the very first thing we do is we convert it to PCM. And we do that through a pretty simple process. It's basically a digital low-pass filter, and it goes through some fancy electronics, and that brings it down to what we call DXD, which is PCM running at 352.8 kilohertz, very fast, 44 kilohertz, 352 kilohertz. All the information that we had in the original DSD-256 capture remains in that PCM environment, and that's how we master everything. And when we convert it back to DSD after mixing and futzing around that we do on that, um, you get another exact copy uh, because the process of going 
from DSD to PCM and back again is almost perfect. Going from an original capture of PCM over to DSD is not so good. We don't want to do that. <clears throat> you can't start with DXD and then take it to, uh, to DSD with any good result. So, oh, there's somebody calling in. Well, sorry about that. Hopefully the answering service will pick it up because we're here on Saturday and I ain't picking it up. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, and yes, we can. And the last thing I'll say is that all of our direct stream, you know, all, all the higher end <coughs> D to A converters that we build are all one bit converters. They are all based on DSD. So whether it starts as PCM or it starts as DSD, we take that, we convert it to one bit, upsample the heck out of it, and then play that out into analog, and that's what you get. So, all right, enough babbling. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.